Howdy fellas, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. We're going to take a look today at a Dixie Gunworks Tennessee Mountain Rifle that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. And Thanks again bud, you know who you are. It's a really nice gun. These were built, oh I believe probably from the late 70s until 19, or excuse me, 2002 by the Japanese firm of Morocco, which builds some fine arms. They've built a firearms for some of the other big manufacturers as well and I don't know why they stopped making these or carrying these in the Dixie Gunworks catalog. I kind of feel like it was a shame. And as I said, it's a Tennessee mountain rifle. Uh, probably not 100% true to form, but it's a pretty good replication of one. It's got a heavy, about 15 sixteenths across the flat barrel on it. It's stocked in cherry and the barrel's 41 and 3 eighths inches long so you'd more or less call that a 42 inch barrel. Uh, it seems to be, uh, judging by the twist on the ramrod, a 1 in 48 twist and if I remember right looking back to the Dixie Gunworks catalog, I believe that's right. So that 1 in 48 twist is supposed to be a compromise between conical and round ball. Uh, the previous owner of this gun said he had trouble getting it to shoot like he wanted it to. He just couldn't get the grip and, and uh, we've talked back and forth and he said it may have been just the fact that he was uneducated on them and everything that uh, maybe he wasn't doing things right. Uh, maybe too, too thick of a patch, too thin. Don't know. I'll just have to get it out and experiment with it. Now it started out life as percussion. You'll notice I don't have lock in it right now. I've already taken the drum out and put in the vent liner that was supplied with the gun and as well the flint lock. Now the mainspring back here on the back of it is a little bit thicker than the percussion so I'm going to have to do something I've never done before. Uh, I've been around muzzle loaders, smoke poles for a long long time, probably about 40 years close to it, but I've never uh, sat down and tried to uh, do any in inletting or anything. I've got the uh, the tools ordered. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't, you know, if I take my time I'll be okay. I've got to remove about an eighth of an inch of wood right here and there to get that lock to go in there flush and I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Now they came with a grease hole, just a hole that you put your patch lube in there but the previous owner wanted a bean patch box. Of course not the banana style. This is another type of bean patch box that was used has a catch up here and it lowers down so you can keep whatever accoutrements you want in there uh, in your patch box. Nice rifle. I'm looking forward to tinkering with it and, and weather permitting we've had some nasty weather this winter here. It seems like every day that I'm off it rains or it's terribly cold or windy. But hopefully spring is around the corner and we'll be able to get outside and uh, do a little tinker on this gun and see if we can get it to shoot. Keep your powder dry. Mind you, top knot pilgrim. 